Now we'll be doing a hydrating facial uh, for my client Haley. We're at Yellow Spa and my name is Nadia. So Haley, you have um, a very beautiful skin, but also um, you're, you're a little uh, dehydrated and there's a slight tendency to redness on, on the cheek area. So what I'm going to do for you is we're gonna do a hydrating facial we're gonna calm the skin with an Arnica mask. So we're gonna begin cleansing Haley's skin with a, a lemon cleanser, which is a very soothing product, healing and hydrating for her sensitive skin. At the same time that I'm cleansing her skin, this gives me the first chance to really feel uh, her skin, to feel uh, the texture, Lemon Cleanser has a beautiful fragrance of fresh lemons, lemon zest. And lemon is known to be a calming fragrance. So it right away you're ca feeling calm and peaceful and the skin is being calmed at the same time. Okay, so now we're going to remove the cleanser with a hot towel. And this pressing action helps to bring the cleanser into the skin a little more and the warmth of the towel opens up the pores. And you can already see that Haley's skin is starting to look more hydrated just by the cleanser and the, um, the, warm, the warm moisture of the hot towel. So at home, uh, you can, when you cleanse your face, it's not, it's a nice way to, to finish the cleansing with using a hot, hot flannel on your face. Um, and that way you move, remove all the residue of the cleanser. And then you can just pat your skin dry with a, a dry towel. Okay, so the next portion is the exfoliation. And for that we use a strawberry rhubarb, freeze-dried strawberry rhubarb dermafoliant. It has a little lactic acid in it, so it has a very slight uh, peel effect. So it helps to remove all the um, dead skin, even though Haley has very little dead skin. <laughs> She's young, young, fresh skin. But this is an aid to uh, helping us to really get the skin super clean for the extraction part which we'll do next after after the steaming you want to you don't need a lot of an exfoliator but um, spread it well you can mix them most exfoliators you mix with water and you want to work well in circles in the areas like around the nose be with Haley because she's sensitive on her cheeks I'm not going to rub into the cheek so much and she doesn't need it there because her cheeks are very clean. So um, we're going to work the exfoliator more into the areas where, where we'll do the extractions, which will be the chin and the nose. And those are the places that are more inclined to have um, the dead skin. The other thing that exfoliation does is it helps to bring the circulation to the skin. Good. And then we remove the exfoliator with some cotton pads. And I, when I'm working on the face, um, this is something you should think about at home, is to always move in an upward direction. Because the skin with gravity over time, we all know that the skin moves downwards. So it's important to get into the habit, even when you're very young, to work with the skin in an upward, upward direction. Now we're going to massage the face with steam and we begin at the neck and the lymph area and moving up onto the face. And the idea is with steaming, the steam and massage is the steam opens up the pores. The massaging brings any impurities to the surface. We usually steam the face for um, seven to ten minutes, uh, depending on your skin type, so that the pores are open and um, it's easier to extract. 
but also there's less, much less possibility of causing any marks on the skin. And then we do a, a lifting massage. Again, this is something you can do yourself, lifting up towards the neck, from the, from the neck to the jawline. And if you're going out, you give yourself a massage like this, even without the steam, it's going to give you an instant lift to the face. I always circle around the temple area here. There's a lot of nerve endings in the temple area, and this is very calming. And if you get headaches, this is a really nice massage for yourself to do, to massage the temple area. So we're going to leave the steam on until we um, remove the massage cream. Leave the steam going till the very last moment. Pressing the towel, warm towel into the skin helps to uh, infuse the skin with the massage cream. So next we're going to do the extractions. And we're gonna start with turning on our bright light on the magnifying glass. We're gonna take up some wet cotton. And we're gonna get ready to clean the pores. So the steaming has, is going to help to make this process as gentle as possible. You don't want your client or yourself to feel like her skin has been pummeled. So it's, that's the importance of the warm facial massage with the steam. So here I'm looking that Haley has, she has a beautiful skin, but here we have a few blackheads, which everybody has blackheads on the nose so i'm pressing as gently as i can pushing the end of the nose up and the top of the nose down and that helps to get the blackheads out so next we're going to put a calming arnica mask on Haley. Uh, the calming mask the arnica ingredient is a plant that helps to calm and soothe and redness and any irritation in the skin. And then we apply the mask from the neck. Can you feel already it's mm -hmm. cooling down the skin? We usually leave the mask on for 10 to 15 minutes. If you're doing this at home, you can just lie down and rest and give yourself, put a timer on or just give yourself a nice uh, time for relaxing doing this at home. For Haley, of course, in the spa, we're going to give her a décolleté shoulder and neck massage. Again with a warm towel and we press in again so the to really infuse the skin with the key ingredients. I'm going to use a refreshing uh, mimosa champagne toner. It'll help to hydrate her skin. Toner is sort of like putting a, a dry sponge into water. It helps, t it helps you to absorb your moisturizer more. So toner is an important step. So you can see already that the skin looks nice and moist in preparation to take the moisturizer. I'm gonna use a rose hip moisturizer, which is infused. Rose hip is the base of the rose. It has the most vitamin C of any plant. And um, it's very healing, vitamin C, in the same way that we take vitamin C to prevent colds and so on. It's a very healing ingredient for the skin. Okay, so that was our hydrating facial. Uh, my name is Nadia at Yellow Spa. And I'd like to thank Haley, our lovely client today. Thank you so much.